purpose of research. So there are many purpose of research, but the main three purposes are exploratory research. Exploratory research is the first unstructured research for solving new problems that haven't been explored or discovered before. Then comes the descriptive research that expands knowledge of an existing research problem in a structured way. Now, explanatory. It's basically a casual research. It is experiential research. It is conducted to check the result of specific changes in an existing procedure or a system. So these three will definitely help you guide or find the purpose of your main research and how you can make that research a structured or a systematic research in a proper procedure or a system to get the proper output of it. Next is objectives. The purpose of research is to discover answer to the problem through the applications of scientific procedures. The main aim of research is to find out the truth which is hidden and which has not been discovered as yet. Though each research study has its own specific purposes, we may think of research objective as falling into number of following broad groupings. First could be to gain familiarity with the phenomenon or to achieve new insight into it. So studies with this objective in view are termed as exploratory or formulative research studies. Next objective is to portray accurately the characteristics of particular individual, situation or a group. Now, studies with this objective in view are known as descriptive research studies. Next, to determine the frequency with which something occurs or with which it is associated with something else. So, studies with this objective in view are known as diagnostic research studies. Last, to test hypotheses of a casual relationship between variables, st such studies are known as hypothesis testing research studies. Now, research approaches. So, there are two basic approaches to research. That is quantitative and qualitative approach. The quantitative and qualitative approach are very basic approaches for whatever research you are trying to proceed ahead. So let's start with qualitative research. Let's start with quantitative approach. The quantitative approach involves the generation of data in quantitative form, which can be subjected to rigorous statistical analysis in a formal and rigid way. This approach can be further subclassified into inferential, experimental, and simulation approaches to research. The purpose of inferential approach to research is to form a database from which to infer characteristics or relationships of population. This means survey research where, where a sample from total population is studied to determine its characteristics and it is then applied to the whole population. The approach is char characterized by keeping a greater control over the research environment. And in this case, some variables are even manipulated to observe their effect on other variables. Simulation approach involves the construction of an artificial environment within which relevant information and data can be generated. This permits an observation of the dynamic behavior of a system. Under control condition, the term simulation in the context of businesses and social science applications referred to the operation of a numerical model that represents value of initial conditions, parameters, and variables. A simulation is run to represent the behavior of the process over time. 
simulation approach can also be useful in building models for understanding future conditions. Next is qualitative approach to research is concerned with subjective assessment of attitudes, opinions, and behavior. Research in such a situation is a function of researchers' insights and impressions. Such an approach to research generates result either in non-quantitative form or in the form which are not subjected to rigorous quantitative analysis. So generally, the techniques of focus group interviews, projective techniques and depth interviews are used in this kind of approach. 